Welcome to uh, our our thirteenth our thirteenth virtual bridge session, um, which I believe isn't really unlucky because my, my father was never a, a superstitious man, but he did hold with the the rule that one should never sleep thirteen in a bed. Um, but that's as far as the sort of. <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> that that's trivia, and trivia is is really the subject for today because today we're welcoming James for a return repeat performance, um, not a repeat, something new, a virtual pub quiz in Zoom, which is <laughs> which which sounds, you know. Fa casual, fun, engaging, and it's it's a concept that was dreamed up by Monica, who's down there on my screen, Robin. Uh, and Robin, Yay! <laughs> which is an awesome idea. But it really addresses one of the things that people are talking about as we're delivering online. It's all about how do you keep people engaged? How do we do? How do we do things like collaborate online? How do we work together? Um, how do we keep it interesting? And I think using today's example, so today's incredibly challenging quiz that James has come up with, I think as well as having a bit of fun, we could also possibly think about how we could apply the same approaches potentially in other teaching areas and how we could use this, using the technology like this to bring people together, small groups, work together, come back, share, talk. It's, it's just, it has so many applications and that's why I'm so excited. Um, and I've brought coffee as well uh, to have, and, and James is drinking my coffee, um, <laughs> to have this virtual quiz. So it's, it's a kind of free for all. Um, we, 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 um, James and I, well, James ha is, is going to take a lead. Uh, I'm going to hide at the background and join one of your teams. Um, and we will we'll just see what happens. So um, I need to give hosting responsibility to James. That just gives me a level of trust that I am, I'm displaying to everyone. James, in the room, this, <laughs> this is how much I trust you. Uh, I am making you the host. Uh, and, and if you possibly could, if you could make um, Jason and I co-hosts, if you just put the cursor over our names. Yeah, and then, and if, yeah, I, and if I'm suddenly kicked from the room, you know, I will take it personally. Uh, if you click on the wrong button. I know it's happened before. I know. And like the first time it was, I could see that as being a mistake. But, you know, third time, start to get the message. Right. So, uh, co-host, right. Who did you make co-host first? Me or Jason? It's not that you, jealous. You first, yeah. Okay, okay. Just checking. Just <laughs> <laughs> Right, so basically, you have control of the room. I yep. will shut up, and I will hand over to you. Yeah, uh, we're waiting and just uh, see if anybody else arrives, but I'll run through the rules before we go get to that stage. So uh, the primary function of today is to uh, play a fun quiz, but also to test the breakout rooms functionality in Zoom. Uh, I don't know how many of you have used that, but it's quite a good tool. It basically allows subgroups to then discuss. Uh, it's designed, obviously, for the conferences. You'll have similar to physical breakout rooms. These are virtual breakout rooms. So what's going to happen is you'll be assigned a breakout room, which is essentially a team. The qu quiz questions will appear in the chat box down the right-hand side, and, and which you'll be able to see from both your breakout rooms and the main session. The only thing, of course, we ask is that you don't discuss the answers or put the answers in the, the chat during the quiz, because uh, obviously other teams will be able to see that. It's not just limited to your breakout room. Uh, so we're going to do that, but we're going to put you in a breakout room first. So we're going to assign you a breakout room for a, a limited time of two minutes and, and display a sample question. And that will allow you to test the breakout rooms functionality. And then we'll come back to the forum to then see if people have had any problems using the, the tool. Um, so I'll assign you your breakout rooms randomly I, just now. I should say, um, when you're answering questions, you probably need pen and paper. That was my, my gesturing at the end. So, so... Because you can talk in your breakout room. Um, if you come up with answers to these these first test questions, write them down on a piece of paper. Um, don't don't put them into the chat. Somebody might have done that during the test session yesterday. I'm not I'm not saying who, but you know it was it was it it, it wasn't it wasn't that person's finest moment. I'm just saying. Uh, the other thing to note, of course, is that as host, I'm able to dive in and out of the breakout rooms. So I'll come through and make sure everybody's uh, managed and technically okay, getting uh, set up and whatever. I'll do that for the main session, but not uh, the test session, um, just to clarify so nobody's stuck. 
So it will be twenty questions in the main quiz, and that will be distributed in, in blocks of five minutes. So you'll get five questions every five minutes. Uh, they're not too challenging questions; they're quite brief questions, but they uh, they should test you a wee bit. So I'll put you into your breakout rooms for now and uh, give you a wee sample question. See how um, you get on. James, do we come back automatically to this room? Uh, yeah, auto it should automatically return, Monica. You can probably confirm that. It does, doesn't it? Bring you back into the that that yesterday when we were doing that. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's generally the way you get should work. Yeah. And so everyone needs to unmute their mics if they're going to be talking in the breakout room. Yeah, just how many rooms do we have? He's doing the magic now. You can tell. Yeah, I'm just deciding whether three or four rooms. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, right, four rooms. That's nice. Uh, and then I, yeah. I would, I would do teams of three, four, three. Yeah, that's four. exactly what it's going up. Yeah. Teams of three and four. Um, right, so no rooms. Right, so you should get the invite now to then join. You should, should uh, accept. Okay, I'm just clicking on join. <gasps> Anyway, so can you hear? Hi, Jamie. Right, hi. Uh, we have the answer. Right, so which, uh, have you chose a team name? Oh, was that what we were meant to Because <laughs> 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 we were, we were going to say that the answer switching it on and off again, off and on again. <laughs> right. Oh, that's our team name, off and on again. Off and on yeah. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's off good. And on again. <laughs> uh, we've got Leslie, who's recently joined us while you were in your breakout room, so I might just try and see if I can put her in a, a session manually. Uh, I think you can do that. Uh, now I can see everyone, because we've got taken back to the there we go. Right. So how did everybody find that? Everybody be able to see the tip, the example question and work out what you were asked to do, yeah? No. Actually, no. I didn't, I didn't no, see, I didn't didn't see any question. Nothing, no. nothing came into yeah. chat. Uh, nothing came into chat, no. 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 Were you talking to everyone? Uh, yep. Zoom group chat, everyone. Can you can you put something into chat just now, just to see if we can uh, see? Yeah. Yeah, I put something ah, into see ya, I see it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. yeah, see ya. So so it's important once we go into the breakout room that you open up the chat window. Can you okay. could you stick everyone into chat uh, breakout just one more time for just like one minute? And yeah, just and then see if, see if we can type a question. Type right. a type a tough question because because Joe really likes tough questions. Okay, right. I, I can tell she you can tell she's poised for a tough question. I can see it, I can see it now. Right. <laughs> Still no sign of a question in the chat there. Right. Um, I worked with Kenji and I yesterday, I'm not understanding how, maybe because he was the admin. Um, what I might do is I might just come around the breakout rooms and just uh, import it into each breakout room. Um, yeah, it didn't work for breakout room two there, James. We we got the message that you said once everybody was in the room saying test, but we didn't see anything before or after that in the chat pane. So I'm wondering if what the thing is you have to do is then put it in, in the main session and then break out into the rooms and it's been put into the main session so it's in people's cache. So I, I will. If you if you copy and paste them in, and then just put us into the room straight away, that because it does take the message over once we're in the room, yeah. we can see it's been said previously. Right. Okay. That makes sense. That's so you can't probably so you can't discuss it. So, uh, what we'll do is I'll, I'll I'll just put the twenty questions up when everybody's ready. So I'm going to assign Leslie to room just now. Um, I'm just trying to find out how you do that because it's she's not showing as. Uh, so, so did did anyone see the chat? I I didn't see a question. I didn't see one. No. 
No. Did anyone see me post saying, hi, no. James, did you post a question? No. No, no. when you say, when you're in the breakout room, if you type to everyone in the breakout room, it's just the people in your breakout room. I did a test uh, for like, breakout room two, and only us guys saw it, and you guys did not. Right, so, so did, you you see, every, so, did, did you see the, the, where James had written test? Yes, mm -hmm. but that was because we were in, all in the same room at, once room. he'd done that message. Okay, so, so James, you have to post the first five questions and then put us into the breakout rooms. That right. must be the... the oh, you the know, I actually just want to do the 20 and then work through at your own pace. To save no, no, no. Do, let's do five and then mm -hmm. bring people back because that will check to see that everything's working. Yeah, do you know offhand how to assign um, like a breakout room because it wouldn't let me do it? Um, when I tried to assign her, it just wouldn't let me because it wants to cre recreate the room. No. Yeah, I, I'm sure, I'm I, Monica might know. I think you do have to click recreate the rooms and like redo it. It might remember some of what you had already. It might not. <laughs> okay, so so just just recreate the rooms. It's okay if we're put into another random group right, of three. Okay. It's yeah. okay because you know the, the team name was everybody thinks that I don't know much, so my team wants me out anyway. So I was I was, I was sensing that. Was like, too much. Leave me with Alan. I'd be delighted. <laughs> oh, <thanks very> <laughs> right, so yeah, I'll recreate the rooms if it puts okay. in the team. Then the team name is just a sample question to get you used to. It. Uh, so I ask the five questions and then put you into the breakout room. So I'll recreate them now. So right, yeah. recreating them. Uh, yeah, as it's completely different teams, but that gets you yeah. talking to somebody new. <laughs> so everybody's in a team now. Leslie should be in a team. She's a bit unsure about what to do, but obviously when she's in the breakout room. As long as she's able to join that breakout room, I'm sure people will talk her through uh, and then even read out the questions if she's unable to access the chat. Uh, so I'll post the first five questions just now. Just, uh, just before you do it, James, can you put me in with someone smart? Because like, I, I really like to win. Like, uh, I'll see who you're in with just now. Uh, you're, in, you're in with uh, Leslie Seymour and Leslie and Joe Malone. <laughs> Dream team. <laughs> Are you able to see the question I posted? Um, Previous to breakout rooms now in chat, yeah. No, 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 no. 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 So oh, if you right. if you post all five in just now, right? right. Okay, so the first, and we can take them into the room. So the first round's in geography, right? Oh, no. Ooh, no. Great, that that's Joe's strength. So we're fine. <laughs> My son into this. <laughs> Look, Gina's got a globe. That's cheating. That's. <laughs> Right, so can everybody see the uh, the well, once I post them, right? I'll make sure so everybody can see the questions. We can, we can. Mm -hmm. right, Slide yeah. us into the rooms. This timer's forced upon you, unfortunately, so you have to give a minute's notice before, which I suppose is fair enough. Because mm -hmm. uh, everybody's from my diving in and out seems to be finished. I think that's every year, actually. I think Kenzie's just waiting for the time out. What happened to Leslie? Did she not get placed? Oh, she did, yeah. She's, uh, she's in... Uh, oh, she's, she's, she's in with uh, Leslie Seymour and Kenji. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, try, try, try to make them a bit harder next time. I mean, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, make, it, make it a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> The big question is, do you want the answers broken up? And do you want the answers No, no, no. Let's... All at the... let's I, I think the others need more time to think of answers. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Uh, you know, we want to give everyone a chance. That's that's fine. Cheat. Right, so I'll actually set a, a timer on uh, the rooms this time, but I'll put the okay. questions in first, as it, of course. That should be slightly easier. This is an entertainment round. Nope. <laughs> right. Uh, and I've made that. This should be pretty much a bit easier than the other ones, right? So... 
asked that it's the questions the the kind of general theme is question five is the hardest it's i've tried to make it as, from my perception one's easiest and five being the hardest uh so uh, the first round and the second round so i'll put you back in your rooms but i'll set a timer for five uh, minutes yeah five minutes so I don't forget this Okay. I think we can see a countdown as well. Yeah, we should be. I found it quite a long time. This was a time to cheat. <laughs> we make, <laughs> make it shorter than that. We don't need to cheat. It's too easy for us. We are, we're... <laughs> and then... right. That's the only thing, you still get the, the 60 second timer, so it's actually six minutes in, in full if you stay the full time. No. Oh. Right. So I might set it for four next time. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we'd hit the weave meeting, uh, weave breakout room there, James, would that have taken us back to the weave meeting before the timer kicked in, do you know? Uh, yeah, you can leave early, but then you're kind of sitting in the lobby. I just anything. like your teammates that much. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We've had a bit of singing and everything in our family. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, so how uh, did everybody find that? Hard. Hard. That was a hard one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right, James, so what, James, like, yeah. when when are you going to start making them hard? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, In the first minute, we were just chatting about what we had for breakfast. <laughs> just, oh, come on! Thanks the challenge. Thanks to technology, Nick. So you uh, you might find that a bit more challenging depending. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so what we did discover is that the breakout rooms uh, give you uh, 60, uh, 60 seconds to to get out. So I'm wondering if I set it for four for this one, or do you have to sell five or 60 seconds? Four, four is more four, than four for us. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, so put the, this is a science and technology questions. Uh, and Bring it on. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Find that one a bit tougher. Do we get any points for coming back first? <laughs> <laughs> Do we get to ask a question if we come back first? <laughs> These are the types of questions you get in pub quizzes and Paisley, oddly enough, and, uh, in some occasions. Some of them are quite bizarre, so obscure. Um, not just not particularly difficult, but sometimes just quite obscure. It's a random nature of them, I think. Here, <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. These are getting tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the final the final round is in general knowledge. So. Uh, this for Kenji's benefit. The final round is general knowledge, so that should be a bit easier. Design that to be a, a bit oh, easier. Oh, anyway. so, sorry, sorry. You mean there's <laughs> actually a set of questions easier than the ones we've just had? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, is that actually possible? Or is that... <laughs> God, come on. I mean, really? <laughs> Uh, right, so, yep, yeah, uh, as I said, final round is uh, general it's knowledge. It's too dark. It's too dark. So, uh, here's the general knowledge questions and uh, back to the room. Right. 
Okay. Right. Go back to my book. And we're back first again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no, it's just a, the prize has gnawed itself. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite hard. Really quite hard, yeah. Yeah, I can't get. There's also the term bragging rights. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's also the term wooden spoon. <laughs> Come on, Jason, this must be taking you back a few years to uh, uh, yes. our times together in Dundee. Aye, uh, what me. What the was that? Part? that was Thursday nights, wasn't it, usually? It was, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I actually had time to make a cup of tea for that last one. <laughs> <Just, laughs> oh. the and, and I heard your answer just as we were cutting out there, so that's the one we've gone for. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, which round was easiest for kidding. everyone? It's kidding. <laughs> It was difficult oh, to say which one was easiest. I think we get the point. We've just got to hand the prize yeah. to to, um, to Kenji's. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this. I Chad, I feel we should let someone else win. You know, what's it? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so so, yeah, right. so one one person on the team must score. Whoever was noting down the answers has to score for for the teams. So are are you going to? Are you going to break the bad news to everyone then, James? Ah, yeah, okay. uh, yeah, you might, you might be a few surprises. That might be more obvious than you think. <laughs> uh, Would they be uh, more obvious? <laughs> Are we ready to mark yet? Yep. 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 Right, hey. so, so for geography, the first one, um, obviously the Nicosia is the capital of which country? And that is Cyprus. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, number two, obviously, the um, Republic of Congo became independent from which country in 1960? That's Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> Did everyone not know that? Just... Mm -hmm. And Dodge City lies in which US state? That's Kansas. Nah. Of course. Of course it is. <laughs> Um, the Isle of Wight one's quite a vague question, might attract a few of the populations closest <laughs> to it, which A, B, or C. The answer is C. The actual population is 141,538. Wow. So if you had 141,000, it's actually double the, the population of the Isle of Man, even though the Isle of Man's got its own government and the Isle of Wight's just got a council. Um, does, does everyone not already know that? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, had to give, I had to give a few people clues for the Scottish railway stations. So uh, the three letter stations, the obvious one for most is air. Um, the one that might have been more tricky was IBM, which technically no trains stop at that station, but due to the, the parliamentary trains, they keep the station technically open and you can buy a ticket in trainline.com to a station that you can't go off at. <laughs> 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 So you're basically uh, just wasting your money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're exactly. stopping right. their yeah. <laughs> Or fair dodging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so an entertainment round, uh, I imagine most people got Bruce Willis' character being John McLean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course. Yeah, and the, of course. Scottish, the Scottish DJ in BBC Radio 2 is the famous Ken Bruce. <laughs> oh. Uh, Channel 4 launched in the UK in 1982. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> uh, Nobody Does It Better was the theme tune to The Spy Who Loved Me. Yeah. Uh, and Wrap It Up was a hit for the Bears Den band Orange Juice. Oh, well done, Fiona! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, so for science and technology, W is a symbol for tungsten. Oh, yes. excellent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the river horse is a hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, what? Yes. Yes, it is. What? Of course it is. <laughs> Edinburgh Zoo in the house. That's it. <laughs> I preferred Kelpie. Yeah. I love Kelpie was the better one. I think so. And uh, Mercury is the god of uh, commerce. Hey. LG is Lucky Gold Star. Oh. Oh. Life's good. Oh. Oh. Same did we. <laughs> well, that, that's technically, um, the, the official answer on their website is that it's uh, Lucky Gold Star, but Life's Good is actually their slogan because they made the slogan. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Advertising oh, works. I, I, might get, I might give bonus points if people have got Life's Good because that is technically their slogan. That was uh, how, how how many bonus points would that would that be? <laughs> would it be a bonus point? It's just the fact you got the point rather than not getting it. <laughs> so are we counting it or not? Come on. Yeah, we'll count. Life's good. Really? Yeah, we'll, oh, uh, oh, that's that good. But okay, thank you. Good. Uh, just seeing as it's for fun. Uh, right. Um, the Edwin Hubble. Edwin. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, well done. Did somebody get that? Did Don yeah. get that? Yeah. Yeah, man. I haven't really got it. Did Only you not all because... get it? Did you... Oh, come on. That's... Only because you'd been talking about orange juice and Edwin Collins, the name of the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So, uh, in general knowledge, a donkey is uh, the symbol of the Democrats. The spirit in a Tom Collins cocktail is gin. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitler yeah. became Chancellor in 1933. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the soap Dallas, R stands for Ross. Again. Yeah. And the phobia, yeah. which I'm not going to try and pronounce, is uh, snakes. Oh. 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 Uh, so obviously, total up your answers. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's going to take a bit of time to count up all of these points, so <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me a second. <laughs> so, technically, it's out of 22. Uh, well, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 22. 22? Yeah. How'd you get 22? Is it not so 21? The, <laughs> there's two possible answers yeah. for Air and IBM. And yeah. if you if you wrote down Life Goods and Lucky Gold Star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they both they both can't be correct. So <laughs> it's all right. We can take one off our total. That's that, that's that's fine. We're happy to give everyone else a chance. That's that's not a problem. Nah, so, yeah, twenty one then. So uh, twenty one. Uh, and if you got the the life good, we'll just award it. Is it the one with goodwill gesture? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so are you? So we were numbered in teams, weren't we? One to one to four. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the, uh, let's see if the take it. Rooms. Yeah, so team one is the team with Robin and Fiona in it. Okay, so, let's let's hear it. Let's hear the score. Team one is our team, is it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think we so. got fourteen. Right, Four so fourteen. <sighs> I harder. Yes. <laughs> uh, team two is Alan Ray's team. Alan Ray. Nineteen. Woo! Woo! Nineteen. Nineteen. Team two in the lead so far. Uh, team three is Kenji's team. Oh, sorry, it was it us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was still counting up all our numbers. Um, five. <laughs> 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 Is that for real? It was that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel there's too much laughter in the room. I don't. <laughs> Five. Seriously. <laughs> Will that OG thing have helped, Kenji? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually said gold star in her, and we went, no, 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 guys, it, that's it will be something else. So life, good. You, we got life good. But seeing as you only got the five, would that take you up to six if you got uh, life good? Yeah, yes, it would. <laughs> okay, right, you've been six. 
Uh, it's so, nothing like a bit of pity. Right? The last one's uh, Alan Dick and Jason's team. Uh, I think we got 15. Yeah, we got 15. Yeah. Nice. So that's team two. Uh, I thought we got 16, Jason, because we got IBM and there. Oh. oh. oh I was thinking that. Yeah, we got 16. 16. <laughs> Uh, so that leaves, uh, as far as I can see, Owen's team is the winner. Mm. <laughs> well done, team. Uh, well done, Joy. Well done, Ali. Well done, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll hand over to Kendrick because I think that's, that's it for me. Uh, well, <laughs> I, 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 I think like zoom in the breakout rooms honestly it's it's it is it is quite it's quite easy to use <laughs> once we worked out how to do deal with the chat <laughs> um so, some of the things that we were talking about i so want this to finish now you know <laughs> I, just, I, never, I want to go away and cry in a corner now um <clears throat> but uh so some of the things we were talking about is like how would we get groups of people to um put in their answers and then essentially submit them back uh, to to James so that he could he could tot up the scores just to see that there were genuine submissions and we were we were looking at things like um we could have made editable Google Docs or OneDrive uh, Word documents and given them to each of the groups if we knew who was going to be in a group beforehand but if you're if you're like a lecturer and you've got students in your class you could easily fire out an independent editable document that each team could write on. So you could have like four teams writing up notes and then submitting, which James could actually see in real time as they were being populated. So he could follow along and you could run a, a quiz like that. We just used the chat because we thought it would be easier because we keep it all contained in this one platform. But there seemed to be like tons of things that we could do with breakout rooms. They just, they seem really cool. So like I, I can only express my thanks for, 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 for both. Robin, uh, for, 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 for James, um, uh, for Monica, uh, like sharing this concept with us because I, I genuinely enjoyed it apart from the painful bit of the story. Um, <laughs> thanks for that. Uh, so when's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> we, we will try to come up with a, an exciting uh, <laughs> range of activities um, for this group. But um, okay, so just for the matter of the recordings, now that this is captured in for posterity forevermore and, and my embarrassment and, and my team will go away and commiserate, <laughs> come back stronger the next time. Uh, <laughs> thanks for everyone who's listening. Hope you learned something and hope you catch us for the next virtual bridge session. Thank you. Bye, Kenji. Okay, cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.